Two weeks ago, Plasma had two wins and went home. Yes, yeah, that, that's why anything can happen. I love Plasma. Love. She did great. She did great. She did great. She's probably watching. Say hi to Plasma. Plasma, te amo. Don't let anyone tell you. What is the word? Tell oh, you. That you're not good? No, you know. Don't, t don't let anyone tell you. Tell you nothing? No. A bedtime story? No, you know when you said don't tell anyone. Otherwise? Oh, otherwise. don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yes. Go ahead again. All right. Plasma, you are amazing. Don't tell anyone tell you. What? <laughs> don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Love that. And see, season two, Jessica couldn't have done that. Hell no. See? Maybe in three hours. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, the show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. Today, we are on episode, which doesn't say. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel, and welcome back to The Pit Stop, the show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. And today in studio, we have, from season two of RuPaul's Drag Race and All Stars 8, Jessica Wilde, people. Yes, here I am, Jessica Wilde. Are you ready for the scandal? Last night, when I knew I had to get up so early to do this, like, you know, we were up early. Oh, yeah. The only thing that sustained me was that I texted the director and said, who's here tomorrow? And he texted me a gif of you going, ooh, I love this drink. And I said, I will make it. I will make it through another day. And, and we have the drink to survive this. Girl. Cheers. Little energy drink in there. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Usually, you know, I go to bed around 4 a.m. and at 4 a.m. I was doing my makeup, so. Oh my it looks like it. Here I am with the energy. Doesn't she look beautiful, people? Like, look at this <laughs> Jesus. For a season two queen? For an any queen, <laughs> you look amazing. Thank you for having me, you know, I adore you, I admire you, oh. and it's an honor for me to be for the first time here at the Peace Stop. You know, in my mind, I think we're close friends, so this all makes a lot of sense to me. And we are. We are. The thing is, we don't call each other all the time, but every time we see each other, we have the connection, yeah. and you love me, I love you. I love you. I don't think people know you're one of my like all-time favorite Drag Race queens. And you always tell me that. You, you know, every time we see each other, you always give me a compliment. I appreciate that you helped my family during Hurricane Maria. Oh, Thank yeah. you for that, because my mother is your biggest fan. She is. She is like, she don't watch the show, but after what you did for us, she's like, I'm Trixie's biggest fan. Oh, see, I'm happy to buy people's affection. Okay, everybody, it's fine. I my you mama did house. well because she still remember that. <laughs> Good. Well, it was during the hurricane. It I remember hurricane. Yeah, asking, you called me. how do you help people? And some people said, just find somebody directly who can, you can help their family directly. And I was like, can I help your family? And you're like, sure. I yeah. kind of forgot about that. And I appreciate that. Thing. I'm an incredible person. Yeah, because of all we have electricity in Puerto Rico because of you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> How has life been since Drag Race and All Stars? Amazing. This is a dream come true. You know, to be back to All Stars 8 after season two, it was a totally different experience, but it was meant to happen. It was the right time. Mentally, I was ready and it's changing my life again. In a different way, you know, I'm more wiser and mature and I'm just taking advantage or advance of every opportunity. Advantage. Advantage. I was just there living the moment, having a good time, doing my best. Season two, you know, my English, it was like basically zero. Talk about it. So to be back and be able to express myself better because my English is not perfect, but I don't care anymore, you know, I, it's like, this is who I am. I just learned to respect and to love myself. Yeah. This is my English. At least now I understand the rules. I understand the <laughs> girls. Right. <laughs> I'm not lost anymore. Drag Race is so hard, even if English is your first language. Yes. Season two, Jessica, how was it competing? Did half the time you not understand people? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> and that, and that's why it, it, it was just Juju be trying to help me sometimes because she speaks a little Spanish, and yeah. it, even Pandora Box, she's still talking about it. Every time I see her, she's like, it was insane to have you there with no English. But I think I was so innocent that that helped me. I'm gonna go do Drag Race Mexico just so I can understand. Imagine that. Seriously. Just imagine that to not understand the rules, 
you know, the world is watching. I, I was embarrassed, yes, sometimes, but I'm a fighter, you know, and I, and I was there to fight for my dreams and that's why I'm here right now. Work, bitch. Are you proud of making top three? Come on. I'm very proud. I'm a big fan of Jimbo and Candy and to be there with them, I felt like, like a winner already. You were just on a cruise with Jimbo and Candy. Yeah, I was I was on a cruise with Jimbo, Candy, and Heidi. Yes. And we had a great time. It, it was it was like an amazing week. We played a snatch game. Um, Alcohol poisoning? Yeah. Yeah. Especially Candy Muse. Girl. <laughs> There's some girls when they show up, I'm like, I gotta go home early because like that girl's gonna send me home in a coffin tonight. There's always that girl who's like shots and I'm like, it's 4 p.m. That's Candy Muse. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You have to be like, girl, stop. <laughs> what a fun cruise. It was fun, and, and Jim Boy was with her coconuts everywhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she puts on that Buffalo Bill bodysuit and like gets in the pool. Yeah, and it wasn't like a, like a gay cruise, but all those families, they were celebrating and having a good time with all of us. Wow. It was a beautiful experience. Are you selling those tortilla chips, bitch? Oh, yes. People be buying the tortilla chips? People, people is supporting my my business. You're like a girl, <laughs> you're like a girl scout with cookies. Yes, <laughs> I have my, my tortilla chips and the guacamole is extra, so. It should be. Right now, I don't have the guacamole included. Right. But if you have your ETB card, you can get your guacamole. She loves uh, Taco Tuesday. She loves the soft shell. Soft shell. With carne asada. <laughs> and guacamole. Did you see that clip of you on the dome? Yes. That was like the funniest thing I'd ever seen. You know what? Because uh, you weren't joking. You're like, no, she loves it. It was serious. It was serious. <laughs> on a Taco Tuesday, she never left the car because she loved to celebrate Taco Tuesday. Are you ready to talk season 16? Do you know any of these queens personally? Actually, no. Well, I guess f them then. Yeah. <laughs> that means you can be unbiased. Well, are we talking about the top seven or the whole cast? Any of them. Cast? I guess any of them. Did you know any of the girls from the season? No. So what is the difference, Jessica? <laughs> because I'm thinking. <laughs> okay. I'm thinking. It's like, well, I know Tsunami Muse. Okay, so you do. But it's not like, like you know, like we talk all the time. Right. So I'm just thinking. She was so beautiful, though. Oh, yeah. The face. She is. Oh, my God. She is Love. gorgeous. It's a good season. It, it is a great season. Yeah. OK, so last week, nobody went home. Do you think that's a nice little relief for these queens? I think it is, you know? Especially when you are competing, you wish for a day of no eliminations. Yeah, it's not fun in the moment. When people have their dreams crushed in front of you, yes. if, and if it's you going home, it also sucks. Yeah. On season A, they have a like a double chante you stay. Right. <laughs> and I was in the bottom of, of the snatch game. So me and Kahana, we were safe. And everybody was happy and I was happy. So we both did RuPaul for Snatch Game. Oh uh, yeah. But yours was very successful. A woman with limited English in the first Snatch Game ever did a great job with RuPaul. And I knew exactly what I was doing. English is my first language, and I still shit in my bed and rolled around in it. Safira received her second win. Are you enjoying Safira this season? I love Safira. Amazing. The amazing looks, her energy, her persona. I love her. Every time Safira comes out, I go, I would hate to compete against Safira. Oh, yeah. She seems to be good at everything. And yeah. And I hate I, bitches it's like that. It's not even about her looks. She's a professional. Morphine was in the top two and wanted that win so badly. I talk about this every episode. But thoughts on Morphine's makeup artistry? Girl. Gorgeous. I, I love that she looked like she's gonna attack you. And, yeah. But, but she's sweet. I like her. Like, imagine if you were at Sephora and she was working there. <laughs> you would be so scared to talk to her. Oh, yes. Because even when she's out of drag, her, her makeup is beautiful and perfect and everything and her attitude. But when she's in drag, oh my God. It's amazing. Did you see a resemblance between yeah, me and her? Yeah, that's what I'm looking at you right now. I'm like, you should be her drag daughter. Thank you. Thank you. Because I have a lot to learn. Because <laughs> I could use some education <laughs> for her. I agree. We also saw Plain give her immunity potion to Nymphia. Did you think Plain would be the type of person to give it away to another queen? I thought she was gonna swallow that thing. Yeah. 
you know, to not give it to anybody. Surprise, surprise, she gave it to Nymphia. She did, which I guess could also be strategy. Nymphia next week might borrow plain a wig or help her extra. Yes. Like, it's still strategy to give it away because it's sort of like, well, you better help me next time, bitch. Yeah. That's why I gave your mom $1,200. That way on All Stars, I'm like, remember? <laughs> so I'm, I'm still translating what you said. Oh, okay, perfect. The other queens are pointing out that Plain was toward the bottom last week. Did she seem in denial about that? Wait, what episode are we? So last week, Plain was like the bottom. Oh, she was in the bottom. And this week, in the beginning of the episode, the girls are telling her she was in the bottom, and she's like, no, I wasn't. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think it's delusion? Got it. So do you think she's in denial? But are we recording, or you're, you're just explaining to me? <laughs> I was just explaining I it. I always stop. I was, so. No, yeah, yeah, let's, let's go back. Okay, so. <laughs> the other queens are pointing out that Plane was toward the bottom last week. Did she seem in denial about that? I, I think she was. She didn't did like a horrible job. No. She was she was good. She did good. And she looked flawless. She looked beautiful. I think she did good, but I think she was one of the bottoms. Those can both be true. They need a bottom. Don't we all? So. <laughs> hey. It's necessary. Do you live for the plain versus dawn moment? Plain and dawn are fighting. Because plain is like, mama, oh, that's all dawn. Yeah. Did you live for that? Let's do it again. Okay. Hi. Do you live for the plain versus dawn moment? I love it because plain, she read her. She was angry. Yeah. I'm like, damn, don't go hard to her. She's sweet. Yeah. She's young. I know. Tiny. Frail. Frail. Frahile. See. Si. See. Si. <laughs> I love it because they're both right. Like plain, you were in the bottom, and dawn. That look is kind of chopped. So like, they're both fighting about the same thing. It's like, yeah, you both kind of flopped. I don't but know. But Plainy was really like. Plain's feelings were hurt, I felt yes. like. Yes, it's a drama. Yeah. It's always like the tough bitches who, don't forget, they still have feelings, <laughs> yes. you know? Uh, Candy Muse cries who? every night. Candy Muse. Who? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> She's gonna cry from that. Does Tenchi get- Hi Candy. Hi Candy. <laughs> I'm not attached to the comments made by Jessica Wilde. Be my friend, thank you. Mm. On Drag Race, do you think it gets harder toward the end? More tense? When there's like five or six drag queens left, it's so hard to just be even safe. It ha it happened to me in All Stars 8. I have good critis criticisms? Critiques. Critiques. It happened to me in All Stars A. <laughs> <laughs> I have good critiques, but if you are not in the top, you're in the bottom. I know. Do you think the queens secretly wish someone went home last week? Pretty sure. Yeah. If, if you know that you did well, you want somebody to go home. Hello. But if you are on the risk, you don't want anybody to go home. But pretty sure playing, uh, playing Plain Jane. Pretty sure Plain. Plain what? Plain. What is her last name? It's Plain Jane. Jane, okay. Yes. Let's do it. Again. Plain James. It's not Plain James. It's Plain Jane. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> with you. <laughs> Pretty sure Plain Jane wants somebody to go home. Yeah, so would I. For sure. If I did a good job in the challenge, I'd be like, hello, can we get the murder on the dance floor, please? Okay. Like, let's move it along. The next day, RuPaul enters the workroom and announces for the mini challenge, the queens will be spilling the tea. Does something like this show what the queens really think about each other? I think yes. I think at that point they know each other and it was fun to watch that they have the correct answers yeah. most of the time. I mean, they all have a lot of the same answers, so it must be true, right? Yes, it felt real. I think if, if we played that game, I think you know about me and I know about you a little bit, so we're gonna... Yeah, I would be like, oh, who's like the sexiest bitch anyone's ever seen? And we would choose... Me. Me. Oh, well, I guess <laughs> we would have a problem. <laughs> Which queen do you think is the most delusional? Plain or Dawn? I think plain. Of course. <laughs> I think on Drag Race, we tend to talk about delusional like it's a bad thing, but I think it's okay. 
It is. We all have fake names and wigs on. Yes. We're all delusional. Yes. We are right now. Thank you. I mean, Plain Jane walks on the runway and says, these are my rubber breasts. They're real. And we all go, okay. Like, it's delusion. By the way, Jimbo really made everyone wear rubber boobs, huh? Yes. Everyone. E even on the cruise, she did a party and she brought a lot of breastplates that I'm like, and I'm like, what? I, I, even in colors that is not her color. I, everybody was like, why you have this? And just in case, in case of what? A friend needed. I'm like, okay. So she, <laughs> she have for everybody, and she she have like a full body, with a zipper that have the boobs and a big ass and everything. A, yeah, she have a real, and people at the pool they saw that, and they were even like, oh my god, because it looks real. <laughs> <laughs> she pulled a tampon out and they emptied the pool. Yeah, and you know she liked to give you like a flash and people, oh my God, what is... Here we Even go. Even the fans in, in the comments, they're like, oh my God, she have a lot of work done. <laughs> Can you believe It's cheaper that? than going to the doctor. So Safira wins $3,400. Congrats, Safira. Congratulations, Safira. It's good money. Next, Rue announces that for the Maxi Challenge, the queens will be presenting Drag Awareness Seminars, a send-up of corporate presentations. You know what I love? What? That I'm very focused on what you're saying, and when you change the subject, it's like me changing my computer. <laughs> like, it's a seminar. So, yeah, I was like, and then you change it, and I'm like, what's she talking about? Right, I'm sorry, the cards. No, I love it. Next time we should do these in Spanish. And then you can read them to me, and I can be clueless. Ah, and yes. I'll be like, I can't wait to do that. Um, so, have you ever been to a seminar? It's because, no, it's because you are like, ah, very funny, and then when you read the card, you're very serious and focused, and I'm like, what is happening to her? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cards. Is she okay? <laughs> is she powering down? Have you ever had an office job? Uh, the streets are count like an office? I don't think so. <laughs> I always have jobs like uh, stores or dance schools. Gay jobs. Like yes. Yeah. And, and I remember I used to work in a factory that when they called me back, I was crying and my mommy was like, why are you crying? I'm like, I hate that place. It was too, you know, straight for me. Factories? A factory. What, what did you make? Like speakers for, uh, for, for uh, radios. I was like, putting the name of the brand, like... That sounds horrible. It was. All straight people? It was. I was like 17, 18. Oh my god. And you know, for, for a flamboyant gay boy, that was a nightmare. And my mom told me, you don't have to do that if you're not feeling happy. So then I went to to the stores. And that's where you brought the, the bra and the panties and... Here we are. Yes. Yeah. Do you like having partners on Drag Race? Or do you like to work alone? I'm lucky enough to have good partners on All Stars 8, but I prefer to work by myself. Me too. Because I can be focused on on me. Did you want me to leave? Huh? Do you want me to leave? Yes, I, I want to steal this job. Okay, well, there you go. And that's the pit stop. Thank you, everyone. Goodbye. And I can read really it. What do you think of this challenge? <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> Who would you want to be on a team with in this season? With Q and Plain Jane. Yeah. Actually, and also with Nymphia and Safira. Nymphia is very funny. Yeah, Nymphia is really funny. Too. And I love that she's always acting like, oh my God. Oh my God, this challenge is gonna be horrible. Oh, I know, I don't know what's gonna happen to me. And she's always good. I know, the other queens at this point are like, girl. Yeah. You'll be fine. Maya, queen of flips, seems a little intimidated by the challenge. What do you think's going through her head? It's not her thing. Right. I think she's not a microphone person or a, a comedy person. She's not queen she, of seminars. She's, yeah, but I have the feeling that that's not her personality. Right. The next group is a trio. It's Safira, Nymphia, and Morphine. Talk about it. I think the problem of being with Safira is that she's so powerful that she's still in the show all the time. Yes. 
But the, that, that group it was great. I think maybe, you know, Morphine, it was the, the, the weakest on them. The weakest? No, that's the weakest witch. No, that's Wicked. Weak. Weakest is like the worst, weakest. Okay, thank you. Yep, got you. So, well, she can be a Wicked witch. She's the weakest witch of the West, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it was a great team. I think they did well. I mean, Morphine did good, but Nymphia and Sephira were amazing. Yes. I mean, once Nymphia came out doing her character, it was sort of like, oh, that's the star of the group. And finally, what do you think of Plain and Q? That yeah. was my favorite team. They were amazing. To me, they were amazing. Perfect timing, the concept, their looks. Even when they talk at the same time, it was coordinated. Yes. They were perfect to me. It didn't seem like they wrote it yesterday to perform it today. It no. seemed rehearsed. That's why to me, I was like, oh, good luck to the other groups because they opened the show amazingly. And like a uh, cue, her speaking voice, there's no um, mm, yeah. like, she delivered it like perfect without feeling like a script. She was really good. She was very good. Q was amazing. It was my favorite group. Mine too, they were really good. So, speaking of Q, she has a very vulnerable conversation doing her makeup, disclosing her HIV status. What do you think of this moment? I think, you know, after Angina came out on season one, talking about that, it's important to keep sharing stories like that. Yeah. And to me, it was something that the new generation need to to hear. Right. I think it was a vulnerable moment for her. Mm -hmm. And I even felt more in love to see that side that to came out in front of everybody because she said that not even her family knows. So it was a lot and I'm proud of her. And you know, a lot of young people is watching the show. And I think it was a good example that whatever is happening, you can live your life normally and you can be loved from everybody. Just keep following your dreams. I think it was great. Yeah, and like as viewers, she doesn't owe us anything. Like for her to be open and say that is so like, wow, this person is- It's something private. Like she don't have to share that. So that's why I appreciate that she did. I did too. And spark, yeah, jumping ahead, it made the runway so impactful. She's oh, wearing yes. a red ribbon, it's like work, bitch. It was her episode, to be honest. It was. It was her episode. All right, so let's go to the runway. Flashback to DragCon 1980. My favorite era. You, you love 80s. My favorite decade. You know Michelle was excited. Oh, yes. Michelle was horny. On season two, you did 80s rocker chicks. Oh, that's true, yeah. You had to live sing in 80s looks. Come out screaming. You were amazing. And I won. Yeah, you were amazing. That was one of the challenges that I said, if I don't win this, what I'm gonna win? Right. What I'm gonna win? It's my thing. I love rock. I love to sing live. It was my challenge. And you looked amazing. Thank you to me. Well, let's get into the looks. We're gonna critique them one by one. And you know these girls all love you, so. They're gonna care what you have to say about these looks because you're a legend, which means old. Well, I'm, I'm grateful to be here. Still alive. At this age. Right. And doing drag, traveling the world, being a famous. In the prime of your life. Drag queen. T. So first up, we have Plain Jane. What do you think? Plain Jane, she looked very elegant. I was expecting maybe something more fun from her. It was, what yeah, it was think? kind of serious. Yeah, it was serious. That's why, like, that's what I want to say. But she looked great. She looked great. And polish and her makeup and her hair. The fit, the, the waist, oh, yeah. the shoulders, the breastplate that was perfectly camouflaged. It matched her face. She does a breastplate very well. Up next, we have Q. I love it. Girl. I um, love it. Amazing. Amazing. We get the red ribbon, which, you know, the 80s, and it's the birth of the AIDS crisis. Yes. That's why it was perfect. Everything perfect. was perfect for her on that episode. The Keith Haring inspired print. It wasn't a ripped off Keith Haring. It was inspired by, which I loved. The hair with the little spit curl, the blush. And her makeup is always like incredible. Then the polka dot tights with the red shoe. I mean, she really, as a costume person, she, she studies. And I think she did that look, right? Yeah, she makes everything. She makes everything. Flawless. Crazy. Up next we have Dawn. Now what do you think, Jessica? Because I don't know. Is a lot going on? Yeah. 
It brings me back to like wrestling challenge of season four, maybe. Yes, to me, yeah, she looked like a luchador. Oh yes, <laughs> like a wrestling oh, man. Oh yes, it's fun, but I want to see more of her face. I was expecting more from her. It's not terrible. No, it's not terrible. I love the hair. The hair gives me like X Men, Marvel comics. I love the hair. The body to me, if she had, I just got really lost. The big blue panel in the front, the skin exposed in the middle. I think maybe it's because it's a lot of black going on and her face cover. Maybe it's that. Yeah. Up next, we have Maya Amon the page. I don't feel the 80s. What do you think? I don't know. Like, either. she looked great. Oh, love the color on her. <laughs> like, she, she looked great, but I don't see the 80s. I don't either, Jessica. I love big hair. It looked like the hair was upside down. The hair was sort of Don King. The tornado came by and blew the wig backwards. I think she's so beautiful. Oh, she Her is. face is to die she for. She is stunning. And I was like, F Maya, like, ugh, we were rooting for you. Yeah, I was expecting more 80s. Totally. And she has the braces. I wish she would have done like headgear. Uh, yeah, can you uh, imagine? Yes. Up next, we have Safira Cristal. Stunning. Slay. I love it. Slay. I mean, this is 80s. They love it. We love it. Yeah. You can tell she's having a good time. Yeah, it's amazing. It's an 80s dress, definitely. And the face, that makeup is stunning. To die for every time. No notes. Morphine Love Dion. I like it, but at the same time, it's very simple, right? That's how you know that we're drag queens. We're like, that's simple. Her, yeah. Her face. To die. Always stunning. The best, my favorite, maybe my favorite face in all of Drag Race history, my favorite, I love. Second favorite. Your first. Thank you so much. And I love that she was showing her, her ass. Of course. She is a hoe from Miami, and she wants you to see that ass. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah. It was fine, though. I mean, I love her. She did say this isn't her wig she planned on wearing. So, I mean, I love Morphine. She knows watching this, I'm sure. Like, it was, compared to the other look, yeah. a little simple. And finally, we have Nymphia Wind. The runways are always her thing. I got the reference immediately. Yeah, Grace Jones. And it's Grace Jones without being a copy. It's not a Grace Jones costume. This look was maybe my favorite Nymphia look of the season. I just loved it. I mean, it screams 80s. Beautiful. Every runway. She's amazing. She is. So who had your favorite look of the week? I think it's Nymphia. Okay, work. Well, me too, I think. Yeah. But I also loved Q. Q. It's oh, hard to say. Hard. But who was the struggle bus with the looks? Um, Queen of Flips. Queen of the Flips. Queen of the Flips. And I guess, I guess Morphine. Yeah, Party City. Party City. Fiesta City. It's just not, it's not giving. You see, you're learning. I'm taking, I'm learning. Fiesta City. Fifth <laughs> After the judges critique, we find out the winner is Safira. What do you think? Yeah. I'm happy for her. She won. I'm happy for her. Mm -hmm. Yes. I want Q to win. And that's the truth. But I'm happy for Safira. Felicidades. Me too. Was Q plucked today? Was she plucked? Plucked? What the hell is that? Was she gagged? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She was. In the bottom two, once again, we have Maya and Morphine, and it's the Miami battle, the Miami heat. The whole city of Miami is gonna be watching like TV. So the lip sync is Dim the Lights by Donna Summer. I love Donna Summer. Donna Summer is basically one of us. Oh, yes. What did you think when Queen of Flips threw her cape on top of Morphine? I was like, wait. And, and I love the slow motion, like shh. It was great. She used the cape as a prop. It was fierce. It yeah. was kind of playing dirty. You don't think maybe it wasn't conscious? I think if I did it, I would say it was on accident. Oops. Sorry, girl. But I think it was on purpose. I would be mad. I think I would be mad. I didn't like that. I think more of it was, but she was focused. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh. See, you're allergic to the bull. <laughs> and then am. she took out the titty and threw it. What do you think of that? Revenge. Throwing drag. She was like, oh, you want you want to throw stuff? Let me throw you my boobs. Well, luckily it's Morphine's boobs, so it's like an yeah, eight cup silicone. Yeah, not like the Jimbo ones. <laughs> oh my god, do you imagine? <laughs> Jimbo takes off a truck and just throws it at you. I love, that was a great lip sync, don't you think? It was great. All right, Morphine wins, do you agree? I do. I do too. I do. 
too. She did great. What an impact the Queen of Flips had, though. My God. Oh, yeah. I honestly think if this hadn't been her fourth time, she might have stayed. She was that good. All right, Jessica, six queens are left. Who in this group you think could be the winner? I like Safira. Yeah. Q. Mm hmm Nymphia. Mm hmm Oh, my God. Anyone can, anyone. It's a good group. They're all amazing, but I think Safira has winner energy. Yes. Jessica Wild, thank you so much for joining me today. I can't believe you've never been on the pit stop. You are like one of my all time favorites and the children love you. Thank you for loving me, for your friendship. I'm very grateful for what is happening to me right now. It's the dreams of a golden child. The dreams of a golden child. <laughs> yeah. It was a true story. It I really wrote was. that book for real there in that competition. That's your house of hidden meanings. Yeah. That's the new RuPaul book. Okay. And thank you for joining us on the Pit Stop. Make sure you join us next week right here on the RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah. And thank you. I was waiting for girl. you to. Oh, Jessica. <laughs> Let me do it. Let me do it. Okay. And thank you all for watching the Pit Stop. Tune in next week where we are recapping. No, bitch. What is it? Recapping. 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 I like recapping. I like that too. <laughs> when we are recapping. <laughs> Oh, tell them where they can buy some of your products. I thought I was gonna have the tortilla chip here with me. All right, we have the queen of flips and we also have the queen of chips. <gasps> here, my product, Jessica Wild tortilla chips. Be careful with the ingredients, but they taste so good. <laughs> yeah, FDA, don't watch this video, okay? Thank you. Get them at dragqueenmerch.com. Yeah, just support my, my company. Yeah, this is a small women's business. Yeah. It's important, I'm pregnant again. I, girl, I, I have to do a reenactment. When they were like, okay, this is me. I know you guys probably can't get it on camera, but this is for me and Jessica. They were like, all right, Q, you're safe. She really said. <laughs> she was like a zombie. <laughs> And then this is Safira. Safira's like, oh, are, are you plugged? She goes, no, I'm, I'm really happy for you, but I'm, I'm, I'm... Let the music play. Little bit of love. <laughs>